dawn of the 21st century saw the world's powers shift away from the traditional state structure in favor of economic blocks. Full-blown wars became things of the past, though proxy wars stubbornly persisted. Such conflicts gave rise to wanzers, bipedal weaponry, capable of fighting across all types of terrain. The very advent of these revolutionary machines, however, spawned new disputes. For all its efforts to forge a better world, humanity had learned nothing. December 2127. The Republic of Garmonia, located near the Black Sea, abruptly declared war on its neighbor, the Republic of Ruthenia, when it invaded the border city wedged between the two countries, Novoslav. The sudden attack overwhelmed the Ruthenia Army Defense Forces, and it seemed the battle was over in the blink of an eye. And yet, for those bloodied but unbowed survivors caught in the ensuing chaos, the fight was only just beginning. This is Staff Sergeant Mikhail Shuvalov of the Ruthenia Army, 2nd Mobile Platoon. My mech was badly damaged in the fighting. I can't restart it. The body caught fire. It's completely burnt. Koshka, please report. Come on, Koshka. Answer me! Damn it! <sighs> Perfect. Just perfect. What am I supposed to do? Don't let anyone get out of here alive. Shoot to kill. I'm not dying here. Wait, civilians? Nothing they can do to them. <laughs> the hell? Son of a... One down. Let's keep looking around here. Orders are to exterminate every last Ruthenian rat we find. We have to be thorough. Roger that. Device rebooted. Please enter your authentication code. My comms are back up! Authentication code, XBR 786509. Ruthenia Army 2nd Mobile Platoon, Staff Sergeant Mikhail Shuvalov. Koshka, please report! What happened to us? Voice print verified. Code confirmed. I am glad you are safe, Staff Sergeant Shuvalov. The invading Garmonian troops have advanced to the heart of the city. Novoslava City's defense forces are retreating from all quarters. What am I supposed to do? It is too dangerous here. Find somewhere safe, and then secure some equipment. <coughs> Caution. Mikhail, I've detected a survivor from the second mobile platoon. Transferring to your device. Sergeant Major Alexander Ogienko seems to be wounded. Damn it! what's that old man doing? Hey, old man! Mikhail, you've got some nerve addressing a superior officer like that. What happened to the others? How should I know? What the hell is going on? Everyone said it wouldn't come to war. 
I never took you for naive. We're soldiers, Miguel. Why else would we be here? Stand up. We're getting out of here right now. They're picking off the survivors. Listen to me, Miguel. There are only two things you're responsible for. Surviving and saving the civilians. You can't be serious. I only enlisted so I could pilot a Wanzer. It's up to you to decide whether you'll do it or not. All right. Remember what you said. This is your decision. Mikhail, I am detecting enemy troops nearby. They are coming this way. Ah, uh, my mech. His legs won't move, but its arms still function. You gonna take that risk? This is what I was born to do. Full status check. Legs are badly damaged and unable to function. What about the weapons? Tell me I can use those at least. Shoulder weapons returning an error. Only the right hand weapon is functional. Control systems established. Shoulder weapons now functional. Roger that! These guys are going down! Enemy reinforcements approaching. No signs of the enemy remaining. It would be dangerous to continue fighting in this state. I advise abandoning this mech and moving to a safer locale. Roger that. This thing did good, considering it's pretty much a hunk of scrap metal now. I hope the old man's still hanging in there. Not bad with just the arms to work with. You would have the nerve to do something like that. If the transmission from an hour ago is to be believed, there should be some survivors in the area. I sent you the location. Go. You have to survive. How am I supposed to look after you in this state? Go get us some help. Quit acting all tough, old man. I must be at death's door for you to be fussing over me. But I appreciate it. You be careful out there. You know, I really did think there had to be at least one or two Ruthenians with some semblance of a spine. <laughs> Come on. At least pick up your gun. This is war. Rookie or veteran, one misstep will get you killed.
You like baseball? I can't get enough of it. Three strikes and you're out. And you've already got one. I wouldn't talk like that if I were you. Strike two. Think long and think hard. You've only got one more chance. Three strikes and you're dead. That's baseball for you, rookie. Now the game is over. It's me, what is it? Understood, I'll come meet you. Break time, rookie. Maybe we'll get to play again sometime. If you live that long. HQ, come in. This is Captain Olga Kalanina. It's 3 p.m. I'm on my way to talk to a person of interest regarding the disappearances happening all over Novoslava. A man by the name of Dr. Lavrov seems to be involved. If I can't find him by 5 p.m., I'll return to HQ. Over and out. Olga, I thought I made myself perfectly clear when I told you not to go out without backup again. You need to take a partner, especially to that part of the city. It's dangerous. Yes, sir, I can see that. Considering the Ruthenian army is here. I don't remember them saying anything about stationing troops in this area. They're here already, are they? It's an emergency deployment. Seems like there's been some sort of skirmish near the Garmonian border. They've also asked that the police cooperate with them however we can. Skirmish, huh? Give me a break. We're still waiting on the details. Once you get back, we'll send you all to accompany the troops. Over and out. You there! Halt! I'm with the police. Let me through. You're telling me they sent you out here on your own? I guess the cops don't have enough people either. If you're serious about going down, I need to run your ID. Wait over there for a second. Are you from around here? Don't be scared. It's all right. I, I'm just looking for someone. Hey, look. Meow. You don't know anyone called Dr. Lavrov, do you? Dr. Pavel? You do know him. Those are Garmonian soldiers. <sighs> Hope you don't mind if I borrow this. This is Captain Olga Kalanina of the Novoslava City Police. Unknown forces are attacking the slums. If anyone's there, if anyone's listening, please respond. This is the Ruthenia Army Operation <laughs> Support System. The government has declared a nationwide state of emergency. Please find somewhere safe to take refuge immediately. I'm a police officer. That means I have an obligation to protect the people. I'm requesting the army's cooperation. 
This request falls under Acceptive Clause Paragraph 16, Item 2. Voice print data inquiry complete. The petitioner is Captain Olga Kalanina of the Novoslava City Police. Would you care to hear instructions for how to use this device, Captain? No need. What's the situation? Approximately two hours ago, the Garmonia Army launched an invasion of Novoslava. It is admirable that you wish to carry out your duty, but please prioritize your own safety. That's sweet of you. Do you have a name? I am Koshka, Captain. Just Olga is fine. I'm in your hands, Koshka. There is a shelter in this vicinity. I advise you take refuge there. Like the ones the old government built. They're still standing? According to records, they are still functional. All right then, sounds promising. Koshka, do a search of this area. I think there could be survivors here. I'll bring them to the shelter if we find any. Please prioritize your own safety, Olga. Have a look at my files. I'm ex-military, not some amateur. I know I can't stay here with things the way they are. I'm going to get out and meet up with the Ruthenian army. And I'll only rescue survivors if at all possible. You can't say no to that. Survivors located. Transmitting coordinates to your device. Thank you, Koshka. Are you a cop? Please, let me go. I was just getting some money from Gramps. I just came to pick up the money he owed me today. <laughs> Come on, you gotta help me out. This, this stupid war broke out before I knew what was happening. Who's Gramps? Don't act like you don't know. You came here looking for old Lavrov, didn't you? Gramps asked me to find him girls, that's all. Young girls, as young as I could find, who wouldn't be too much trouble. So I brought him, you know, runaways, orphans. I got no clue what happened after I handed him over. <sighs> Disgusting. Where is he now? Lavrov. We always made the exchange at the abandoned hospital on top of that hill. Come on, y you gotta help me out. Koshka, tell me how to get to that abandoned hospital. And find the closest shelter, too. Understood. Transmitting coordinates now. Head for the shelter, and don't let those soldiers see you. Please, Major Wait. Haven't I done all you asked? Don't act like you don't remember. I got you all those girls. All the ones you wanted. Antonina. Irina Serafima. I have records of all of them. If you kill me now... <laughs> Lieutenant Borden. Actually, it's Major Olga. How long has it been since you served under me? Three years? And now you're a Ruthenian dog. You're the best of the best. And I still see that same arrogance in your eyes. That was Dr. Lavrov you just killed, wasn't it? How are you involved with him? I see no reason to tell you. Besides, we're in the middle of a war. So what if I kill one or two people from the country we're fighting? Oh, he is? What a relief. That just means there's one less piece of filth the world has to worry about. Some people deserve to die. I suppose that's something you'll never understand. But, now that you've returned to me, I'm happy to start your training all over again. I really was sorry to hear about your daughter. Hard to believe it's been three years since then. I don't understand you. It was these fool Ruthenians that killed your daughter in the first place. You were working with Lavrov. Don't try to tell me you had nothing to do with all the people that went missing. Enough of these wild delusions. Apparently I didn't train you as well as I should have. Come now, Olga. Don't make this harder than it has to be. 
Novoslava is finished no matter what you do. Don't underestimate me. I am not who I used to be. What is it? <sighs> yeah, all right. I'm on my way. Apologies, Olga. But I've got to take care of this. The vermin in this city won't exterminate themselves. She's a little worked up. Why don't you give her something else to think about? The enemy soldiers are regrouping. They have you surrounded. Prepare for a counterattack. Enemy <sighs> Looks like I made it out all right. I better hurry up and find the Ruthenian army. Reports are coming in that our troops are outnumbered all throughout Novoslava. There is also word that Garmonia is sending further reinforcements over the eastern border. This can't be happening. Tell me where our troops are. There is a unit currently engaged in combat on the west side of the city, but it is too dangerous there. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's dangerous everywhere. I'm going. Koshka, how's the battle going? The Garmonia army is advancing throughout Novoslava. Our troops are resisting wherever they can, but they cannot put up an organized fight. Are there any Allied units close by? Several members of the 14th platoon are engaged in battle in your vicinity, transmitting coordinates to your device. The enemy seems to be deploying troops to clean up the area. I advise you act quickly. 23 minutes have passed since you last moved. That's just a nice way of saying, move your ass, Mikhail, isn't it? Be alert. Someone is approaching you from behind. Apologies, mon ami. I wasn't trying to sneak up on you. The name's Patrick Lemire. I'm a freelance reporter. Immigration records confirmed. Patrick Lemaire, a combat journalist born in EC, France. He has written numerous articles for Lancaster Press Company and other mainstream media outlets. Meaning he's not the enemy. I take it you believe me, Zen. See, I just want to ask you a few questions. I've been watching you for a while now. You're a born survivor. You don't take any risks, you don't have to, shirking danger like it's second nature. Everybody ought to put their own life first, ahead of anyone else's, even soldiers. Didn't you know? The Rusinian army decided to retreat from Novoslava. What do you mean, retreat? The battle just barely started. Still, the truth is your friends keep pulling back further and further. The only ones left in the city are survivors like you, and the Garmonians hunting them down. Find a way to survive. That's been your only option since the beginning. They sent us here to die. Well, now for the good news. I had a guaranteed way to get you out of this mess. But there's something I need you to do for me. And what's that exactly? First, I want to put you to the test a bit more. Let's meet up again later. After all, you were heading somewhere when I stopped you. Perhaps it's best you hurry along. Once you're finished with your errand, I'll get in touch again. The hell is with that guy? I don't like this. Koshka, was he serious about the retreat? Currently, no official order has been given. However, I cannot determine the situation is not as he says. Damn it. So if I want help, he's it. Mon ami! You made it here in one piece. 
Not too shabby. So about that thing I wanted you to do for me. Of course I do. Otherwise, I'd be stuck here too. There's this secret I'm after. There's more to this war than meets the eye. At least that's what I believe. I don't care if you trust me as a person or not. All this is is a simple give and take. What do you think, Koshka? From the sound of his voice, I believe what he says is credible. He is not lying. But this analysis is only valid for what he has said thus far. It is possible he is still withholding information. And looks like the only thing I can do is go along with him after all. Okay. All I require is that you rescue a certain civilian from inside the city. What civilian? The target is Novoslava councilman. Vladimir Bunin. That big shot was an official at the Poronova Authority for several years. But just recently was elected as a councilman. There's a chance that he holds the flame that ignited this war. What are you talking about? A couple years ago, the plans for a new Wanza model was stolen from the UCS. Or to be more exact, they found evidence that they'd been illegally copied. You didn't hear about that. Well, I guess a lot of heads would roll if that info had leaked. Anyway, the best guess anyone had for where those copied plans ended up was here, in Nova Slava. You need the right resources if you're going to manufacture wanzas. Having the port and arbor authority under your thumb would be ideal. I'm sure even you know about the group that fought tooth and nail for Novoslava's liberation. He was one of the ones at the top, organizing the whole thing. Leveraging that is what got him elected to the council. Ever since, he's been growing more and more powerful. More powerful than any councilman could ever hope to be. There's plenty of talk. That says a dark underbelly to his triumphs. What does any of this have to do with the war? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But what if the real reason for this sudden invasion was to bury the truth? I know it sounds crazy, but it's not impossible. That's why I want to speak with Bunin myself. I have proof Bunin the alive and well. He sent an SOS from the Konokov Council building. But I'm not going to stand here all day talking your ear off. You in? Then we have an arrangement. You keep him alive for me, I'll tell you how to get out of here. Better hurry. You won't live forever. How's the rest of the city faring, Koshka? What's going on with the Ruthenian army? The defense forces are retreating from this area. Retreating troops are heading westward. It seems the plan is to regroup at the harbor. Then there's no point in staying here much longer. Collecting footage of the area. The safest route to the harbor is through the sewers. Borodin's soldiers are in the city. Take care not to run into them. <sighs> he always has been like a dog with a bone. Some things never change. Olga, there is a Ruthenian soldier nearby being pursued by the enemy. A survivor? Staff Sergeant Mikhail Shuvalov of the 2nd Mobile Platoon. He is safeguarding a civilian and is considerably exhausted. Transmitting the information to your device. Finally, some help. Wait, you're a civilian? Not who you were hoping for, hmm? I can leave? Uh, no, wait. I'll take whatever help I can get. Beggars can't be choosers. That girl. I saw her in the slums. Is she alive? Yeah. Enemy soldiers, prepare to intercept. 
You take care of the girl. I'll handle the hostiles. No sign of the enemy nearby. It is safe for the time being. You did well out there. For a civvy. I suppose the Ruthenian army is too busy to drill any manners into its soldiers. This is why I hate the military. Well, she's bleeding a little. It doesn't look like more than a scratch. She'll wake up soon. Take the girl and get to the shelter. I'll go get help. With things the way they are, that's the only option. I'm not so sure about that. I bet you're nicer than you look. But I honestly don't know if you're capable. Do all cops have a hero complex, or is it just you? Letting a civilian get involved won't cause me anything but trouble. I'm just worried about her. I have a responsibility to protect her. We're in the middle of a war. Now is not the time to go sticking your neck out when you don't have to. Get your head on straight. <sighs> this conversation is a waste of time. I'm getting her to the shelter, and I'm finding help. Alone. Whatever makes you happy. Well, good morning. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, I'll protect you. Uh. Don't touch me! Wait! Come back! Koshka, see if there's any info in the city police database about that girl. I have found something that may be relevant. She bears a striking resemblance to the victim of an incident that took place four years ago. Yulia Smirnova, five years old at the time, lost both parents to the riots that erupted throughout Novoslava. Afterwards, a foster facility called Like Family took guardianship of her. She's an orphan. Another victim of those riots. Garmonian troops are amassing in the plaza. I believe they are enacting some sort of operation in this area. This could be my chance to find out what they're scheming. It will be dangerous. Proceed with caution. I want a situation report now. Have you located Boonin? Sir, a search of his office yielded a number of data files. Only files? Not the man himself? He had orders to wait there. There was no one in the office, sir. <sighs> that coward must have gotten spooked. Order our troops to conduct a thorough search of the area for him, and get those files analyzed immediately. Kill anyone who tries to interfere. Am I understood? Yes, sir. That wasn't Borden's unit. That man looked like the commander, but he wasn't wearing a Garmonian uniform. Who on earth is he? His uniform resembles a Zafter army pilot suit. It is highly possible that Zaftra sent him to collaborate with the Garmonia army. Wait. Are you saying Zaftra's involved in this war? Lacking any further information, I cannot hazard a guess. That didn't look like any invasion unit I've ever seen. So, what are they doing here? Lacking any further information, I cannot hazard a guess. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out for myself. They mentioned something about data files. Maybe finding those files will tell me what those guys are doing here. What is this, Koshka? It appears to be Wanzer production reports. It seems that, for some reason, this one was designed and produced in secret. So those guys who were looking for Boonin must really be after this mech. It is highly possible. According to the data, it was already it's assembled and transported to warehouses near the harbor. Caution. 
The enemy is approaching. The nearby enemy troops have started to mobilize. They seem to be heading toward the harbor. They must have seen the copies of this data. Coach, I have not been able to locate that girl. Yulia? There is no information on anyone fitting her description nearby. Perhaps she has already left this area. I see. Wherever she is, I hope she's safe. Anyway, I need to hightail it to the harbor. Who knows how long the Ruthenian army can hold out for? What was that about? He didn't look like military. I swear I've seen his face before. Somewhere. Match found. Ruslan Ismailov, former leader of NGFP, the group that fought for Novoslava's liberation. He was confirmed dead two years ago, in April of 2125. The hero of Novoslava's revolution? That can't be him, he's dead. He was assassinated right after the city was liberated. That is correct. His face is a 98.3% match to images on file. Barring the existence of an identical twin, it is unlikely that was anyone else. <sighs> a twin? Wouldn't that be convenient? But then... Who was that? Don't move. I believe that's my line, Mr. Dead Man. You... aren't Ruslan. Ruslan? Why did you say that name? Tell me what's going on. Ruslan Ismailov, Novoslava's fallen hero, was just here. He was here? What are you talking about? He's dead! Honestly, I don't quite believe it myself. I know he was assassinated. By someone called... Leonid Osterman, a former member of Ruslan's Liberation Group. He was arrested, charged with murder, and sentenced to death. There are records that his punishment was carried out that same year. Where is he? Where did Ruslan go? He left. You just missed him. Who was that guy? That was Leonid Osterman, a former member of Ruslan's Liberation Group. He was charged with murder and sentenced to death. There are records that his punishment was carried out that same year. Inexplicably, both his appearance and voice print match the records. Another ghost. Olga, I have bad news. A short time ago, the Ruthenia army decided to retreat from Novoslava. What do you mean, retreat? It hasn't even been half a day. <sighs> Koshka, is there any other way I can meet up with the army? Continue west as planned. There are private container ships moored in the harbor. It is possible to escape if you are able to board one. The Garmonians are heading to the harbor too, aren't they? I've got a bad feeling about this. Tell me where Ruslan is. I'm going after him. Leonid Osterman, former elite of NGFP, the group that fought for Novoslava's liberation. Sentenced to death for murdering Ruslan, the group's leader, and executed later that year. Official records confirm the death of condemned inmate D-105. You. I am unsure how to best classify your existence. I was falsely accused. Overwrite those damned records. Truth is, I'm still kicking. Classify me however you like. I will reserve judgment until the present situation has been dealt with. For the moment, you are now under my supervision, D-105. Piece of crap, AI. The Garmonia army is patrolling the perimeter. I advise you acquire a weapon immediately.
I'll arm myself later. Find Ruslan first. Searching for camera footage to analyze. Ruslan Ismailov is not in the vicinity. Hmm. You can't have gotten that far yet. Not a single survivor. Damn Garmonians. <gasps> Leonid? Sophie? How? You were being Ruslan here, weren't you? Why you killed Where Ruslan? is he? Ruslan? Ruslan's alive? After Ruslan died, and you were arrested, we... The rest of the movement thought... I know, but he's here. My AI saw him too. I'm not lying. Besides, I think I would have remembered killing him. I was framed! If Ruslan's alive, then I can only imagine I have him to blame for it. He's really alive. Yeah, yippee. I've been rotting away inside a prison cell since the day they cuffed me, trying to figure out why. Someone fingered me for his death. I knew that much. But he wasn't dead. He pulled the wool over all of our eyes. He's the one who pinned the guilt on me. Leo, stop. Just give me a second to take this all in. You're wrong. I don't think that at all. I just... You are dead too, Leo. They executed you. I don't know what's true and what isn't anymore. Forget it. I'm going after Ruslan. Wait! You are Ruslan's right-hand man. Losing both of you at the same time? How do you think that felt? How are we supposed to keep fighting? We may have accomplished what we set out to do, but then... Then the group collapsed, tearing itself apart from the inside. What were we supposed to do? We were all just... Just... The friends you knew are all gone. Wait. I promise it's not another sob story. There's something I want to show you. It's about Ruslan. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, so I want you to see it for yourself. Meet me at that bar we used to go to all the time. Maybe then you'll find the truth. I need to go east. Find me a way out of here. Nearly everything east of here is under Garmonian control. I do not advise going that way. I don't care. Just do it. Understood, D-105. Transmitting point of egress to your device. You mean to tell me finding a single child that escapes you? She is to be captured on sight! Do you understand? Do not kill her! What are they chasing down a kid for? Collecting footage of the area. Located the person in question. Match found. Yulia Smirnova, nine years old, an orphan from a foster facility called Like Family. She is quite skilled at moving between the camera's blind spots. I cannot determine her exact location. Why are they so desperate to get their hands on a foster kid? She's not my responsibility, but I can't just leave her to the sharks. I better clear them out of this part of town.
my swimsuit. Coast Guard for D105. Your device is taking on water. The exterior has been completely terminated. He said Boonin was at the Konikov Council building, right? I haven't been there since a field trip we took for social studies in school. The Garmonian forces occupy the surrounding area. Please proceed with caution, Mikhail. Also, I have new information about Mr. Boonin. He is taking measures to transport the illicit Wanzer to the harbor. What? Where did you hear that? From a civilian trying to escape the city. Captain Olga Kelenina of the Novoslava <sighs> City Police. Her again? That cop just doesn't know when to quit. Hold on. If that's true, then... He sounds like scum. But he's still a civilian. I can't just abandon him. You have grown into a fine man, Mikhail. That is an exemplary attitude. Gee, thanks. I'm glad I make you proud. Well, no time to waste. Staff Sergeant Mikhail Shivalov of the 2nd Mobile Platoon, commencing civilian rescue. Ah! Just don't come near me! Stay away! Is this loudmouth him, Koshka? Match confirmed. This is indeed Councilman Vladimir Bunin. Hey, hey! Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> My name is Staff Sergeant Mikhail Shuvalov of the Ruthenia Army, 2nd Mobile Platoon. I'm getting you out of here. What? You're one of us? Why didn't you start with that? Maybe Lena would still be alive if you hadn't taken your damn time getting here! Oh, my poor Lena. Come on, we gotta go! Wait! Where's my passport? Let me empty out my safe! Koshka to Mikhail. Enemy forces are approaching the council building. It is possible they are aware of your presence. Prepare to engage. I'd have plenty of time to run if I didn't have this bag of air to worry about. Mikhail. I know, I know. I'll get ready. You sure are taking your sweet time getting me out of here, kid. Keep your voice down. I know it looks like I took care of those guys, but who knows if any reinforcements are on their way. We gotta get out of here. Right. You're right. <laughs> hey, you sure showed those assholes. Okay, okay. Just wait. I gotta get that data. I can't just leave it here. Just make it quick. I'll wait for you downstairs in the lobby. Not too shabby, kid. Ha ha ha! I had to make you my personal bodyguard. Come on! I'm dying for a breath of fresh air. Wait! You idiot! Damn it! I didn't come all this way just to have him die on me like that. I'm impressed, rookie. I didn't think I'd see you alive again. Now those are the eyes of a soldier. You just never know what'll happen on the battlefield. Even useless dopes like you make it out sometimes on sheer stubbornness alone! What's your name, anyway? Staff Sergeant Mikhail Shivalov, 
Ruthenia Army, 2nd Mobile Platoon. Now you. I want to know who I'm playing against. Now that's a question. Are we abandoning baseball for guessing games? His pilot suit resembles those used by the Zaftra Army. It is highly possible that Zaftra sent him to collaborate with the Garmonia Army. Zaftra's involved in this? Uh, AI takes the mystery out of everything. A Wanzer pilot. Just like me. Just like you? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Get up. The game's not over yet. Run, Mikhail. Run for your life! Damn it! You saved me. You don't look like a soldier. Who are you? Someone way more used to this kind of scene than you are. Don't they teach rookies not to go wandering around on their own anymore? Where's the rest of your unit? They got everyone. Even my old fart of a commander. Figures. Was it your fault? Say that again! I swear to God! You're a coward. <laughs> Only cowards get so riled up so quick. You hide behind your outrage so you don't have to face your fear. What do you know? Oh, I know. I know exactly how scared you are. I saw plenty of people like you when I was a mercenary. Cowards like you get their friends killed. And then eventually they get themselves killed. I did what I could to save some of them, but they never stayed saved for long. What are you afraid of? The enemy? Dying? Of course I'm afraid. Quit trying to fool yourself. You're weak. But you're not the only one. You, me, everyone. We're all helpless. Sometimes things just don't go as planned. The moment you realize that is the moment you get strong. I get it. Mm, no... On second thought, I definitely don't. Still, I am grateful. This is you rescuing me, right? You have some nerve, punk. Though I can't say I'm surprised. You're all like that. You're thinking of running, aren't you? That's a prison uniform, if I'm not mistaken. You're an escaped convict. He is condemned inmate D-105. Leonid Osterman, former elite of NGFP, the group that fought for Novoslava's liberation. Official records confirm his execution was carried out. What are you saying? This old man's... dead? I got something I need to do. I'm not running anywhere till it gets done. Hate to break it to you, but this is goodbye. I'm not saving you. I'm only interested in finding the guy that stabbed me in the back. I don't feel like explaining it to you. So, what are you gonna do with this guy when you find him? Kill him? 
After he's dead, then what? Will your life start going as planned after that? And you... What the hell do you know? Enough to know that everything I just said was right on target. Wasn't it? <laughs> well, I better get going. Thanks for saving me back there. See you again someday. If we both make it out of this place alive. Ah, there you are. Hey, shouldn't there be two of you? I see. Which means you failed to hold up your end of the bargain. Wait! I know where the Wanzer is. In the harbor. I'd have preferred to hear that from this horse himself, but... The harbor? Are you sure? This belonged to Boonin. I bet you anything he kept records on this thing. I have information which supplements what was found on Boonin's memory card. Once they finished manufacturing the Wanzer in the slums, they transported it to the harbor. So they used an old car factory in the slums as their manufacturing plant, eh? Makes sense. No one would see them there. Not to mention, that's one of his old aunts. He used to belong to that liberation group. He was the only one of them that went anywhere. His old friends live in the slums. My guess is he made them help. That way his secret would be well kept. And maybe he even wanted to give his friends some cash. Hmm. I see. But it's too... easy. What are you talking about? I doubt this information is false, but... something smells. There's something else you want me to do, isn't there? Your instincts are as sharp as ever. Don't you want to know why all of this is happening to you? Sotso. Then help me. If you don't, the truth will never see the light of day. Go check out that old factory in the slums. If there are any answers to be found, that's where they'll be. I'll make my way to the Arbor, and we'll meet up again there. Scan complete. There are countless Wanzers in the area. The enemy has already taken control of the harbor. See any ship I might be able to escape on? There is a detained container ship moored in the harbor. What about the Wanzer I'm after? Do they already have it? I see nothing like that. Its current location is unclear. Having a Wanzer sure would make this whole escape thing a lot easier. Looks like I'll have to investigate. Any guesses as to where their commander might be? It is difficult to say with certainty, transmitting multiple tent coordinates to your device. The enemy is vigilant. Please proceed with caution and avoid engaging in combat. What? What are you doing here? Are you alright? What kind of monster locks up a little girl in a place like this? Come on, sweetie. Come with me. Really? But... You don't have to. What? Just leave me here. Run. Did something happen? 
You'll get killed if you stay here. Why aren't you trying to run away? Wherever I go, people die. They all die. You were in foster care, weren't you? Did something happen? No one... No one can save me. What are you talking about? You know something. Something really important. Tell me. What happened to you? It's too late. No one can do anything now. You know... I had a little girl once. She'd be about your age now. I couldn't protect her. But I won't let that happen again. I won't let them take another child from me. So I... I'm a replacement. Are you helping me for her sake? You're pretty smart. But that's not it at all. Nothing I do will bring my daughter back. Nothing I do will change the past. But you and I... We're still alive. And as long as we're alive, there's got to be something we can do to change the future. There's just gotta be. Somehow, I'm not surprised to see you here. Major, please. I'm begging you. Let her go. I've got a reputation to uphold, you know. And it's already suffered enough letting her escape me this long. Though, if you'd be willing to take her place... Warming display of selflessness, Olga. Truly. But I don't think my client would appreciate me giving them anything less than the merchandise I promised. I knew it. You and Lavrov were in the trafficking business together. Was it money you wanted? Or to satisfy some sort of sadistic fantasy? On second thought, I don't want to know. I don't care. You're an officer in the Garmonian army, for God's sake! Someone like you operating a human trafficking ring inside Ruthenia. How could you possibly think you could escape international scandal? <laughs> international scandal. <laughs> That's priceless. <laughs> And just whose head do you think will roll if word of this gets out? Think back. You were always on your own, right? Never had a partner to help with your little... investigation. I know you've got brains in that pretty little head of yours. So use them. Just how easy do you think it is ferrying hundreds of undocumented people across the border? How do you think we got them across? It's a near impossible feat without... Help. Help? You had help? From the government? Both governments. Both countries knew about this! You were the only one doing anything to try and stop it. Getting you out of our way would have been remarkably easy, but... Then this damn war started, and we had to put the operation on hold for a bit. Be a good girl now. You're the last bit of inventory we have to load up. 
No, wait! Calm down. The contract specifies I hand her over, alive. But you, on the other hand, considering how you all but walked right into my open arms, we ought to have a little bit of fun together. Before the end. It's just me, Borodin. Ah. I didn't realize. I suppose I ought to thank you. Samargo's help is the reason we're winning this war. That mech is yours, as promised. No one sees anything. No one says anything. Good. And please, rest assured, whatever it is you're doing here isn't for any of us to know. If there's something you want to say, just say it. I'm sure there are many complex layers to this war that I can't even begin to imagine. And I have no intention of getting involved in any of them. That's all I want you to know. I understand very well what becomes of your organizations. Of those who make an enemy of Samargal. It's my hope... ...that we can maintain a favorable relationship in the future. Very prudent of you, Borodin. What is this? Just, uh... personal affairs. Rest assured, it'll be taken care of shortly. Your methods disgust me. It's an inexact science, accounting for the fates of little men. Nothing in front of the power plant, not even bodies? Good work out there. Let's go report to Lieutenant Zazchev. What are you talking about? We don't need to know what the Zafchern army's after. Yeah, I know. Things are crazy with orders changing from one minute to the next. I can't believe we have to search for a goddamn kid. Whatever command came down from his superiors back home didn't sit well with Lieutenant Zazchev. He was super pissed. Could be he doesn't know much more than the rest of us. Anyway, we should get back to the search. Orders are orders. They're looking for someone. I wonder what's going on. Insufficient information. Searching for survivors in the vicinity. Transmitting coordinates to your device. Well... Where's that rundown factory Patrick wanted me to check out? Northeast of here. It is the building encompassed by a concrete wall. There are two entrances, but it seems they are blockading the rear. Password. Two one two five zero four zero three. We changed it, Ruslan. It's easy to remember. It's the day our hero died. Except you were alive this whole time. I found Isaac's body in the sewers. Did you kill him? He and Boonin made that wanzer here. You killed him to keep him from talking, didn't you? He reaped what he sowed. You're the last person I expected to see here. Have you gotten caught in the crossfire as well?
Things have settled down since the riots. But... Nothing has changed. It's like... The whole thing was some... Vivid dream. We've all done unspeakable things to survive. Even me. Either you sell yourself... ...or die. Some girls just... ...never make it home at the end of the night. That's normal for this city. Tell me... ...who are you, really? I can empathize, Sophia. Really. I can. But this is a necessary process in the grand scheme of things. You... You deceived us all, Ruslan. All I did was pretend our goals were the same, when they never were. I'm working for a greater purpose. For the future of all humanity. Except us, right? We're just the tools you used and disposed of. Do not put words in my mouth. However, I will do what I must. So, are you going to kill me too? Who was that guy? What's a soldier doing here? It's rude to eavesdrop, you know. You were a member of that liberation group. Just like that old runaway prisoner. A runaway prisoner? You mean Leo? Do you know him? Well, kinda. I wonder if Leo lied to us too. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to do. I don't know anything anymore. To tell you the truth, I don't really know that much about your movement. So maybe I'm not in a position to say anything, but... You were right there in the thick of things. Fighting every step of the way, weren't you? What do you know about me? Well, how can I? You've gone through a hell that I can't even begin to imagine. Back when your group was fighting for our liberation, I was just an idiot dreaming of Wanzers. Nothing could have prepared me for this. But you... You are a fighter. You are a fighter. You've still got it in you, don't you? I don't know. I don't know if there's anything I can do. I think you're starting to grow on me. I wonder if I can be like you someday. Mikhail, I have a message from Patrick. He wants you to head to the harbor immediately. Got it. So, what are you gonna do? Well... I'm going to find Leo. At least tell me your name. It's Sophia. Sophia Alexeva. Be safe, soldier. I made it. Somehow. 
Better find that bar. Sophie will be waiting. I knew we would meet again, Leo. Yes, you did. Steps were taken to make sure of that. You had us all eating out of the palm of your hand. Is that right? No. My hand is not the one in control. I'm nothing more than a pawn. Just like you. Just like this entire country. Nothing more than pieces on a chessboard. Ruslan Ismailov, former leader of NGFP, the group that fought for Novoslava's liberation. That is who you know me as. In other words, you don't know me at all. Or the reason I'm here. And what reason is that? The future, Leo. The perfect future. So you aren't going to tell me anything then? I didn't want you to die, but the future doesn't seem to feel the same. I never took you for much of a fighter, Ruslan! I never needed to be. All I had to do was show the faintest signs of being in trouble. And someone would swoop in to save me. You always were happy to take advantage of people's goodwill! Ah, what tragedies we speak of. <laughs> then again, that's all history is. One tragedy after another. <sighs> You aren't cut out for combat after all, Ruslan. I still have a future. I can see it. This is not where I die.
There you are. Here. I wanted to give you this. Everything I know is stored on there. Koshka, what's on this card? It contains several files. Some pertain to the Wanzer plans that were stolen from the UCS. Another seems to be her journal, which dates back to the Liberation Movement. In it is an entry stating that Ruslan Ismailov is a Zaftran spy. The Wanzer was all Boonin and his people. They asked me to get involved, but I didn't think I'd be of any use. If you weren't involved, then how did you get your hands on this data? Just stop, Sophia. I know there's no way in hell he let an outsider have data that important. The data is genuine. I can promise you that, at least. It's bound to cause an uproar if it leaks out at the right time. I'll leave the rest up to you. You can decide what to do about Ruslan as well. Right before Ruslan was killed. I didn't mean to. It just happened. I was pretty much his personal secretary, remember? That's how I ended up peeking at some of his personal correspondences. There wasn't any rhyme or reason to it. I was just curious. I think I was going to try playing a prank on him or something. You don't just see something like that and keep it to yourself. Ruslan faked his own death. It had me imprisoned. I thought it must have been some sort of mistake. About Ruslan. About you. But then, Ruslan became the superhero overnight. I'm not sure. I think I wanted to believe it. But for some reason, part of me still wondered. I wish I'd never found out. It's nobody's fault. He tricked us. We were tricked. But that still doesn't change what I did. No. I didn't do anything. I kept quiet. I couldn't change anything. Because I couldn't bring myself to say anything. Leo. That Wanzer should be at the harbor. Use it to get out of here. Go. I bet he'll be there, too. Who's he? Help him. He's like you. Reckless. These are records of the experiments undertaken at foster facility like family. I'm entrusting them to you, Leah, a young girl who was raised at that facility. In normal circumstances, I would never place such a heavy burden on the shoulders of a child. But these are not normal circumstances. It is my fervent hope that this information finds its way into the hands of a compassionate soul, so that these horrors can finally be exposed to the light of day. MODS virus experiment reports from foster facility like family. What in the name of... Uh. 
and that's a lot of soldiers. Hopefully this means they haven't moved that mech already. There are no indications that any large ship has departed from here in the last few hours. Even supposing they transported it over land, they will not have gotten far. Where's Patrick? He has sent no further communication. I cannot determine his current whereabouts. Guess I gotta find him the old-fashioned way. All right, Koshka. Great. What am I supposed to do with his dead ass? Where are we with transport? Sir, we've already completed work on one mech. The other is in progress in Warehouse One. This is taking a lot longer than it should. You useless piece of trash! I don't care if you want to go and get yourself killed. Just don't waste my precious time doing it! Apologies, sir. It's because we had orders to look for that girl. Fuck your orders! Why the hell are soldiers playing tag with a damn kid when there's a war going on? Forget about the kid! The wonder takes priority! Yes, sir. One's already been moved. Wait, there are two of these things? The enemy soldiers in this vicinity are leaving. Now is your chance. I better get to that warehouse. And fast. So this is it. I've never seen anything like it before. There are fewer guards inside the building. I advise dealing with them first. Makes sense. They wouldn't have wanted more people than necessary to see this thing. All right. This will be a piece of cake. They are still armed and dangerous, Mikhail. Do not take this lightly. Well fought. Staff Sergeant Shuvalov. Apparently, this mech is codenamed Volk. I did a brief analysis before you arrived. This was definitely manufactured here using those stolen plans. This is what Zafter wanted, isn't it? Yes, it is. A Zafter Corporation pilfered those plans and manufactured this mech here. Not that it really matters much now. Why not? Circumstances have changed. My job's done. Whatever happens now is out of my hands. How was your trip to the slums? Come back with any useful souvenirs? A kid? Oh, you mean Yulia Smirnova. She's one of the orphans after. Well, Simargo really was collecting. I heard she'd been taken away, but maybe she managed to escape. True. You are just an ordinary soldier. Makes sense you would know about them. Samargo's a nationalist group that controls pretty much all of Zafter as we know it. Simply put, any power to be had, they have it. No laws can stop them. Every top dog in every organization belongs to Samargo. Every last aspect of life in Zafter is under their thumb. What are they doing here? There's been constant fighting ever since this country split in two. Starting with that liberation movement. As a matter of course, when public safety takes a nosedive, the number of people without families or desperate for money skyrockets. And that was all part of the plan. Of course more and more people are losing their families. Even I know how crazy high the crime rate is out there. Are you saying they're using those people to make money or something? Simargal is using those people to research the effects of a certain virus. They had some idea of what it does, but they needed a much bigger sample size to research it further. The virus itself isn't very contagious since it's bloodborne. You practically have to be infected on purpose. That's why they arranged for this war to break out. That's why all these people have died. That's why all this blood has been shed. Who knows? 
I never said I had all the details. The one thing I am sure of is that they're planning something even more sinister than what they've already done. And there's nothing more I can do. The rest is up to HQ. I expect they'll be intervening soon. You should get out of here as fast as your legs will take you, Sergeant. Explaining everything was the least I could do. It doesn't matter what I tell you here, since after this is all over, the flow of information will be restricted anyway. There's an underground route that will lead you out of here, and straight into Newtown. I'll send a helicopter to pick you up from one of the buildings. Oh, and the person who gave me the evidence for all this will be heading that way too. You should meet up with her. You didn't really think I'd let you escape, did you? Now talk! How much of what you just said was bullshit? You said that virus was bloodborne. Answer me! What happens if you get infected? If you're gonna fool your enemy, first you fool your friends. A cruel tactic, but effective. Well, I'm still waiting for my people to fill me in on the details of their investigation, but... I can hazard a guess. Apparently, they call the MODS virus by another name. Euthanasia. So sadly, you'll probably die. How many people have you killed since setting foot in Novoslava? You never were anything more than a disposable tool to them. Ivan Zashchev. I get it now. They were being literal when they told me to make it a bloodbath. Then all your loose ends tie themselves up in a nice little bow. You don't even have to kill them yourself. That's why they sent me to this shithole without any backup! You're coming with me! Our fates are intertwined now. Those bastards won't get away with using me! Fill me in on what's happening here, Koshka. Where's that guy Sophie mentioned? And that Wanzer? Koshka to D-105. Located a Ruthenian soldier together with a civilian. The enemy has captured them and is preparing to move them elsewhere soon. Damn. No time to waste then. What about the Wanzer? Location confirmed. Transmitting coordinates to your device. Perfect. Here goes. The enemy is withdrawing. You will not make it in time from here. Don't worry. I got this. It ain't gonna be pretty though. What's going on? You again? Is this your idea of a rescue? You're lucky it was me. Anyone else would have died. Anyone else would say thank you. You look better than the last time I saw you, punk. <sighs> Guess that weasel ran off by himself. Apparently there's a helicopter heading for a building in Newtown. Hitching a ride on it is the only way out of this place. There's an underground route we can take to Newtown. Someone else is waiting down there too. Get us there, Koshka. One home run isn't gonna win you the entire game. Let's finish this. I don't exactly have time for any extra innings. You got another thing coming if you think I'm gonna roll over and die here. You wanna play ball? Then play with me. I'll stall him. Get underground. I'll meet you there. Now then, you ready to play in the Major League? I think I finally shook him off my tail. Koshka, what's it like on the ground in Newtown? Garmonian troops have already taken control. I anticipate perilous conditions. 
It is the same everywhere in Novoslava, no matter where you go. Then we gotta roll these dice. On a new town. If Patrick was telling the truth, then the helicopter will be touching down on top of that building over there. Smack dab in the middle of enemy territory. Still, what other option do we have? So what's the plan? I'll dive right into the thick of things and give them hell. Then, while they're busy dealing with me, you can secure a path to the top of that building. Not a bad idea, kid. I'll clear the way up there. Count on me. I've got some unfinished business to take care of here. Tell me if there's anything else I can do along the way. Just let me know if you find the wands that I can use. But don't go out of your way. Got it. I'll come find you guys when I'm done. You're sure that girl's here in Newtown? Yulia Smirnova does appear in footage from this area. She is with Ruslan Ismailov. This is my last chance to save her. It is dangerous to attempt rescue alone. Well, I'm going to anyway. This time... This time I swear I'll save her. Located several inactive Wanzers, transmitting coordinates to your device. There are soldiers guarding them. Please be careful. I might as well paint a target on my back if I jumped in a Wanzer now. Not the greatest idea. But maybe I can provide some cover for the guys if I take these soldiers out. <sighs> Who are you? A difficult question to answer. I threw away my true name when I threw away my country. I was born in Ravnoy. My father was a fool of a researcher, and my mother knew nothing of the world outside her own. But enough about me. You're here for Yulia. Isn't that right? Let's say you save her. What then? She's an orphan. She has no one waiting for her to come home. Are you going to use her to replace the daughter you lost? How do you know about my daughter? It's pathetic how mothers feel so entitled to their children. Just because you give birth to them, does not mean they are yours to control. You never consider that what makes her happy, could be different from what makes you happy. You don't want to save her. All you're after is your own salvation. What are you going to do to her? You have no right to... to use her as you see fit. No right? Is that some sort of joke? Humans invented the concept of rights hundreds of years ago, and yet... here we are today. At war. You'd think if rights meant anything, then war would be a thing of the past. Then why are you doing this? Does anything mean anything at all to you, Ruslan Ismailov? Betraying your friends. Spreading misery and chaos. What's the meaning in anything you've done? You cannot save her. I don't care what you say. I'm staying the course. I'm getting out of here. With her. She doesn't have that freedom. If you pity her life in a cage, then do her a favor. And kill her.
Keep going and you'll find her. I wonder what you'll choose when you do. Yulia! Where are you? Stay away! I told you already. Just leave me alone! I've seen your records. You don't need to die. Then why have you been chasing after me this whole time? Why couldn't I just leave? Why didn't anyone come to help me? I don't want anyone else to get hurt because of me. They kept me in a room, on a bed, all hooked up to wires. There were so many grown-ups that came in and out, and none of them even looked at me. I don't want to be alone anymore. You have me. Stay back! <laughs> You're not alone. I'll always be here for you. Wanzer sure would make this whole decoy thing a lot easier. Know of any around here I might be able to get my hands on, Koshka? Transmitting inactive Wanzer coordinates to your device. Exercise caution, Mikhail. Do you like your present, Mikhail? It's the bottom of the ninth! Don't ruin it, whining! I'm not going home until I kill you. Until I kill everyone who made a fool out of me! That helicopter ought to be landing on the roof soon, huh? I'll tell you what. You let me kill you, and I won't kill the rest of your friends. How's that for a deal? That's fine by me. I wouldn't expect anything less from a fellow Wanzer pilot. Bases are loaded and you're up to bat, Mikhail. Show me what you're made of. End this farce. A little late for dads now. That internal struggle's just for show. You're a soldier. Soldiers kill their enemies. You think you beat me? Think again. The game's not over until one of us dies. 
Whoops. I missed. This is why I suck at baseball. Go. Maybe we can finish our game some other time. So that helicopter's landing on the roof of this place. There are many enemies around this building. You will have to eliminate them to get inside. Guess I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty after all. I'll see what I can do. The enemy is approaching. Warning, body armor failure. Please take care when under fire. Transmitting information to your device. Warning. There are multiple enemies in the vicinity. The enemy is on high alert.
Caution. The enemy is approaching. In we go. You are taking damage. Please begin evasive maneuvers. Enemy troop deployments have changed. Transmitting information to your device. Be prudent with remaining rounds and right hand machine gun. Right hand, connection removed. Caution, the enemy is approaching. Caution. Enemy spotted. Ugh, that stings. <sighs> Enemy troop deployments have changed. Transmitting information to your device. Warning. There are multiple enemies in the vicinity. The You're enemy is on high alert. Enemy spotted. The enemy is approaching. Caution.
You're late, old man. I'll cover your back. You get to the roof. Look at you, all in command. Thanks, kid. You can leave the rest to me. <sighs> Am I there yet? <sighs> your heart rate is climbing at an alarming pace. I advise you stop and rest, D-105. <sighs> I've gotten soft. If an AI is worried about me, just tell me how to get to the roof. You will need to use the elevator in the central part of the building. It seems the enemy has locked it, though. How do I unlock it? It is possible to access the system through the panel outside the elevator. It will take some time to unlock, so you are unlikely to succeed unless you deal with the surrounding enemies first. All right. If that's what I gotta do, then I just gotta do it. Caution. The enemy is approaching. Who, who are you? Caution. The enemy is approaching. Caution. The enemy is approaching. No signs of the enemy remaining. Accessing control systems. Come on, Koshka. I knew you would be here. When I saw there would be someone in my way, I knew it would be you. You were spared because of me. Fortunately for you, Nova Slava used to be even more of a cesspit of chaos and corruption than it is currently. It took hardly any effort at all to bribe the authorities to falsify the records and official announcement. 
Ben, it was just a matter of disappearing anyone whose lips seemed loose. Again. Easy. Your thank you cards in the mail. I am sorry. But don't be so angry, Leo. You've died twice, and yet here you are alive and well. Answer me. What are you? I would have thought you'd have figured it out by now. If you're going to defy our future, then you better make sure you kill me this time, Leo. Ruslan. I never wanted this kind of future. Body armor damaged. Caution. Body armor damage listening. Body armor failure. Please take care when under fire. It's over, Ruslan. Is the child alive? What child? Yulia Smirnova is under Captain Kalanina's care. She is alive and well. Is this what you wanted, Leo? I wonder what your future holds. It holds whatever I decide it will. Here, Leo. Real me is right here. But just barely. to D-105. Transmission received from helicopter. It is arriving at your location. Then this is all over. A unique craft is fast approaching. Prepare to engage D-105.
targeted. Ruslan. Transmitting target information. Attack is imminent. <laughs> Transmitting target information. Attack is imminent. <laughs> Transmitting target information. Attack is imminent. Transmitting target information. Attack is imminent. Transmitting target information. Attack is imminent. Following the bloody battle in the city, Novoslava came under the control of an international peacekeeping army. The exact number of those who fell victim to the fighting is unknown even to this day. What, if anything, did humanity learn from these sacrifices? Do we live by our own actions, or are our fates determined by something outside ourselves? The answer lies in the future built by the survivors of this terrible tragedy. <laughs>